Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it's starting to get pretty spartan in the studio, more and more things are getting packed up. But uh, I still have this out right here, and this is my bioelectric skip. I did a video about this last week, in particular, this module right here, the FX8 from Happy Nerding. Now, as I mentioned during that video, this is an effects processor module, and the cool thing about it is it comes with a basic set of effects loaded, but it allows you to customize it for pretty much anything you want. Um, I'd never done it before, so I tried it, and it's actually very simple, so I thought I'd do this video. If anybody else is curious, this is how you customize your FX8. Okay, so here I've patched up a basic patch um, using the FX8 here, and I'm gonna turn it all the way to the dry, hit the start on the SQ1, and there you hear the patch. Again, nothing special, very basic synth patch, but if I bring up the dry wet here, you should hear the tape delay kick in. There we go. So patch one, it's on patch one. I realize you probably can't see that very well, but it's on patch one, it's loaded with the tape delay. Okay. So now let's take a look at how you customize this. Okay, so I've taken out a few of the cables here to make this a little easier to see, um, but here's our FX aid, and we're actually going to be looking at the computer screen for most of this. So let me pull up the computer screen here. Okay, so to configure this, you go to fxaid.app. Now they also have a downloadable version for Windows and for Mac, but um, we're just gonna use the app for this. Now what I've got loaded here is the default programs that it ships with. So you can see there's some reverbs towards the end, some modulation effects and some pitch shift effects, some various kind of distortion wave folder type stuff, and then a bunch of delays towards the beginning. That's why when we were on patch one, we heard that tape delay. Okay, so what we can do is we can change any one of these one by one, like we can just go in here and edit that parameter, or we can just clear them all. And if we clear them all, we can make our own set. So if I wanna start with, let's say I wanna start with a few reverbs. So I'll choose this one and then I'll choose this one, and then I'll choose this one, okay? And so then let's say I wanna to go to some distortion, so then I can go over here and I can pick like, um, there you go, and then uh, maybe after that I want something like a, um, let's see here, maybe I want like a generation loss um, algorithm, or maybe I want a granulized granularizer, so we'll go down here to grain, We'll go grain times four there. And then, you know, maybe after that, I want um, a couple of a couple of uh, delays. So maybe I'll use this one and this one. You get the picture. And then let's say I decide, no, wait, I want the delays before the reverbs. I can just drag them and drop them. See, so I can just change the order all I want. Very simple to configure this. Now, once you've got everything configured as you like, you can actually save it using this. Now, I actually pre-did this to save us a little time. So let me open the last one that I created. So there you go. So you can see what I did here is I had something that starts with a bunch of reverbs. It goes to some modulation effects, some distortion effects, and then finishes off with a bunch of delays. So this is what I'm actually gonna load. Now, what I, what I can do here, so number one, if I wanna print off something so I can see, I can just do that and then I can print this off, which is actually pretty handy. But in addition to that, I can also create a firmware file. So if I click here, it'll ask me where I wanna save that firmware file. Okay, so here is the firmware file that I downloaded. And if I play this, it's really annoying sounds, right? But it is a WAV file, as you can see. But what you wanna do is you wanna play that into the FX aid, and that's what will actually flash it. So if we switch back to the view of the FX aid, what I wanna do is I wanna come in here and I want to push both of these two and hold them for about 10 seconds. And I'll pull my fingers out of the way as soon as that happens. It'll go into firmware update mode. And so what will happen is those center two lights will flash and hopefully you can see that the center two lights flashing showing that it is in firmware update mode. Then I have this cable plugged into the headphone jack of my PC. So I'm gonna plug that into the CV jack, okay? Now, if we go back to the computer, um, I'll have to choose that headphone jack as the output because I don't want it going out through my monitors like I just did, that was totally annoying. So if I choose the headphone jack now, there we go. And then if I go back to this firmware file and I play it, the lights sort of cycle back and forth to indicate that the firmware is being loaded. Um, this will continue for about 30 seconds or so. A few moments later. 
and then when it's done the module will return to its previous state now at this point it should be usable but i always recommend power cycling it i will shut this off and turn it back on and now it should have my new algorithms loaded so let's go ahead and patch that back up so we can take a listen and let's hit it again sounds like before i'm still on patch one i realize that's hard for you to see but if i bring this up now we should get a reverb instead of a tape delay that's definitely a reverb So there you have it, folks. That's how you customize an FX8 module. Pretty cool, and the nice thing about it is you could do that. You know, you could try it out. Ah, I don't like this one. You could swap out just that one. Um, as I mentioned before, you don't have to have all the spots full, so if you don't have 32 things you like and you only want eight in there, you can do it. Very flexible module, very cool, and that is how you customize it. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.